Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a mature senile cataract. It appears like an intumescent cataract, but we will see in a short while that it is not. The main incision is placed at mid limbus, and now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision. The patient is under topical anesthesia and initially the patient is not able to cooperate. An air bubble has been injected beneath this air bubble. This is phenocaine and this is a bit of adrenaline. Stripe and blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule and then this is some more adrenaline. The dye is washed out and now is the time to do capsulorexis. Visco 2% SPMC is injected to fill up the anterior chamber and now a 26 case bent needle is taken and the capsule is incised at the central part and a C flap is made and I find that there is no egress of any fluid from the lens. So this is not an intumescent cataract and in such cases we can do rexis at on go, keeping the rexis size on the lower side about 5 millimeter. So the size of the rexis is adequate. Very little hydro dissection is being done. Lot of fluid is not injected. And now is the time to introduce the FECO needle. Here it goes. We will down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up towards the corneal endothelium. And now watch submarine chop. The feconeidal travels through the substance of the nucleus as it reaches near the opposite equator the nucleus is chopped. One hemineucleus is chopped again and this free nuclear fragment is being emulsified now itself. The other free fragment is now taken It is divided into two small pieces and then it is emulsified. This is another chop and the free nuclear fragment is emulsified. And now this is the last portion of the nucleus. It is subdivided into two smaller pieces and this is the last small bit of the nucleus. At this time we can decrease the parameters. FECO power from the beginning was about 75%. Flow rate was 45 ml per minute. And vacuum was 450 mm of mercury. I tried to remove a portion of the cortex by the FECO needle itself. Then I found it. it is dangerous and I came out. Now I inject VISCO take the coaxial IA and remove the cortex. Most of the cortex could be removed by the coaxial IA. Only a small bit of cortex remained in the subincisional area. 
For this I went through the side port, used the 23 gauze Simco cannula and remove these cortex. Visco is used to fill up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and then a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. Now the intraocular lens has to be checked whether it is in the capsular bag or not. How to do that? If we can hook the rexus margin opposite the haptics, the lens is in the capsular bag. Now the visco is nicely cleaned. This is the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. Irrigation of antechamber is done. Then the capsular bag is irrigated so that the visco comes out through the main wound. And then irrigation and aspiration are used together and then this is a bit of moxie and now these side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma we have made only one side port in this case I did a little bit of hydro to the main wound because the incision was little anteriorly placed Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.